darkness envelops the moonless night. One man's blade flashes like lightning, his spirit a raging storm. From the shadows, he cuts through the darkness. All right, everything looks good here. Ah, I am bored to tears out. Oh! <laughs> Sorry, I just need you to take a little nap. Concealment talisman's damaged. Was there a magical barrier? Well, it got me this far. The talisman indicates I'm close. Now's my chance. Our country needs you! Bring us the sword of salvation and free our people! Beloved compatriots of the Society of Salvation, as you are no doubt aware, our homeland is in great peril. Only we Westerners and the Society of Salvation can save it. Fortunately, I know where Soul Edge, the Sword of Salvation, lies. Oh? Then that means... The day we attain this great power is close at hand, but your assistance is needed. I, Juan Gabak, solemnly swear to make your dreams of salvation a reality. Now pray to the medium to lend us your strength. Spare nothing for the glory of our nation! light my body it's burning must kill what's going on <laughs> Good! Good! Now go forth and kill! Harvest more souls for the fragments of Soul Edge! All who remain able-bodied shall help save this land! Kill, kill, and kill some more! Cleanse this land of filth! You sure do love a spectacle. What will you do if a high-ranking Westerner catches wind of this? Relax. My magic is keeping us hidden. No one will find us here. Though it would seem someone has found us. <sighs> Who's there? Oh, it's only you. You hardly qualify as high-ranking. But, threat or not, you won't leave this place alive. Prepare to die! I have to fight. Fight! Looks like I'm late. But I won't let you harm anyone else. Come at me, 
while you can. Taste my blade. Cease. No, my true strength. There's no escape. Purifying blade. Sorry. If only I had gotten here sooner. So, oh, you can wield talismans as well as you can a sword. You're either working for a monk or are one yourself. No matter, your talisman magic is no match for the great Gabak. Flash of flame, scorching land, howling inferno at my command. Manifest and come to my aid. His spells are powerful, but I can handle them. Now, with my conflagration spell keeping you at bay, it's time... Roaring Wind! Ah, it burns! Why, you... Gotcha. Farewell. Hmm. He was good. I see now it was the fragments he was after. Shame on you, Sword of Cursed Flames. You know I can't fight well here. Apologies, Princess. Things will go more smoothly next time. At least they should. It's fine. I must admit, I'm enjoying myself. I've returned, Royal Inspector. There's no need for titles. I've been retired for some time now. Please, call me Su Hyun. So, how did it go? I wrapped the fragments in talismans as you instructed. There are three in total. With these... I believe I have atoned for my past. Indeed, fine work. I will excise these fragments and prepare them for the Mirror of Evil's Bane in these ruins. And the talismans I provided you were useful? Very. They'll no doubt help me contend with those fiends. I see. Then it may finally be time for you to venture west. Here, take these new talismans. I'm afraid there aren't many. I am no expert in talisman magic, so imbuing them with profound power is bone-breaking work. Even the convenient ones take time to prepare. Thank you very much. I'll put these to good use. Do not use them with reckless abandon, particularly the Talisman of Iron Will. That talisman temporarily affords you a great deal of power, but the stronger the adept, the more it takes. Given your skills, it will no doubt drain you of your life. You would do well to remember that, Huang Songgyong. After all, you have already died once before. I haven't been back to Jirisan in some time now. Was it here they wanted me to wait? It was, it was also, also many, many moons ago that I brought Mina here, 
to master. I wonder if she's still as scrappy as she's always been. Well, if it isn't the esteemed Sir Huang Song Gyeong, then for whom might you be waiting? Oh, I was told to wait here for... Hmm... <laughs> Mina! You sounded like a completely different person. <laughs> Caught you off guard, huh? You wouldn't be the first to act so surprised. Come on, we can catch up while we walk! So, I guess you've been keeping up with your studies? That's right. I've been going over the four books and five classics again. I never used to like that stuff, but it really got me thinking. I should really treat my father with more respect. I've caused him a lot of trouble. <laughs> I never thought I'd hear you, of all people, say something like that. Hey! What's that supposed to mean? I also figure if I start buckling down more, Maybe my father will turn a blind eye when I need him to. <laughs> There's the Mina I remember. There's the Dojong. Okay, I should probably put my formal airs back on. Hey, that reminds me. Remember Yun Song? He's come a long way. Thank you for taking the time to see me, Master. No need to thank me. I very much enjoy these periodic visits. Thank you, Mina, for escorting Huang here. Now then. I'll prepare a cup of the citron tea you're so fond of. With that, I leave you two to your conversation. Huang, I must thank you for all that you've done for Mina. It seems that second trip away from home has changed her for the better. I have you to thank for that. Actually, Actually the, the second, second journey might have done us both a world of good. Many suitors have visited us, asking for Mina's hand in marriage. As her father, I'm... <sighs> <clears throat> Well, we haven't time for that today. Please, tell me more about what troubles you. Thank you. I wanted to talk to you about the Sword of Salvation, Soul Edge. Wang's mind reeled as he thought back on his second journey. Much of the information he risked his life to gather centered around one sword. Those seeking longevity call it the key to eternal youth. Those craving wealth know it as the treasure of kings. And to those defending their homeland, it is the sword of salvation. The veracity of this information, however, is unclear. What are you suggesting, Wong? No. Say no more. Master. Do you think the Soul Edge might actually be the Sword of Salvation? See what has you so troubled. You are aware of the power struggle between Easterners and Westerners, yes? I am. Rumors of the Sword of Salvation spread among the Westerners, 
but Easterners have rejected it. Indeed. Many Westerners are fervently searching for Solage as we speak. They were the ones who suggested His Majesty search for it. And I was among those tasked with seeking it out. We of the Song Do Zhang have chosen not to take sides, allowing us to remain independent and unaffected by such political squabbles. But given that my friend and your compatriot Yi Sun Xin is an Easterner, we may soon find ourselves embroiled in this dangerous struggle. No doubt my misgivings about the Sword of Salvation will draw attention as well. The fighting has only worsened in recent years. Chong Chou, the leader of the Westerners, would purge all in his way if given the chance. <sighs> this is no time to start a civil war. You have always been selfless, keen to serve others. But now is not the time to throw caution to the wind. But we can't let this conflict consume our homeland. I, I have to... Huang, you must learn to do what's best for yourself. If Mina is capable of such change, then so are you. <sighs> I'm sorry to put you through this, Mina. The citron tea's gotten cold. I brought father some, but maybe I'll just drink this one myself. Forgive me, Wong. I couldn't help but over here. It's okay. Perhaps I do need to change. Mm. Well, I think you'll be fine either way. But if you ask me, you shouldn't change to fit someone else's idea of you. I mean, people change if and when they feel it's necessary. That's the one thing I didn't learn from you. Mina, I... Oh, here! I brought some Yankwa. Try some! Thanks. It's sweet. Very soft. <laughs> I know, right? I made them myself. All that talk of Westerners got me thinking. Do you know anything about the Society of Salvation? No, I can't say that I do. When a Westerner named Juan Gabog tried to sweet-talk me, he mentioned something about knowing how to make full use of the Soul Edge. Juan Gabak told Mina that the Society of Salvation formed in just the past year. It's comprised primarily of young Westerners. It seems the society possesses jewels connected to the Sword of Salvation. Rumor has it, a medium channels the jewel's power to aid followers in their quest for the sword. For what purposes the society wields this power, or how they intend to use the Sword of Salvation, remains a mystery to those outside their ranks. Juan Kabak, huh? Sometimes I forget Nina isn't a child anymore. Men are courting her now. Hmm. That Society of Salvation you mentioned sounds a lot like a group called the Qualifiers I ran into once. They were undone by their own nefarious ways, but the Society's plans are yet in motion. <sighs> Who's there? You're Song Yang Huang, aren't you? I am called Oct. Pleasure to meet you. What is a child like you doing out alone at this hour? Worried about me, are you? <laughs> That's cute. One week from today, the Society of Salvation will gather in the Royal Capital. A national hero like you would be more than welcome to attend. Is this some sort of trap? Probably worth a look, even if it is.
So this is what a gathering looks like. A crowd this big should keep me hidden. Look! It's Lord Gubbock! Shh! He's about to speak! Beloved compatriots of the Society of Salvation, thank you for meeting in such troubling times. Rest assured that we Westerners and the Society at large remain undaunted. For the Sword of Salvation would ensure we emerge from this crisis victorious. So, so that's, that's one Gabak. He, he doesn't act, act like a typical like government, government official. official. And to that end, we have a very special guest. Someone you all know well. I am, of course, speaking of the hero who traveled the world and back twice in search of Soul Edge. Wong Song Gyeong! What? what? It seems the young warrior is hiding. Perhaps he doesn't do well in front of crowds. Fear not. Our medium will divine his location with these jewels, a task far simpler than finding the Sword of Salvation. <laughs> That's the child I saw earlier. What's going on here? There you are. I have you. What in the... Ah! Uh, I feel weak. Oh. <laughs> what is this? Behold, a simple feat. Here you are, standing before us. However... Roaring skies, trembling soil, wailing souls on this mortal coil, manifest and come to my aid! <laughs> Not standing anymore, are you? A pleasure to meet you, Huang Song Yong. I am Gabak, Sword of Cursed Flames. But soon you'll have no need to remember that. Curse you. What have you done to these people? <laughs> I've used the fragments of Soul Edge to absorb their souls. Just as you predicted, that sword houses an incredible evil. I'm going to put a stop to you. You're too late. But don't worry, I need you alive. You're going to murder high-ranking members of the Westerner faction. Then, we'll blame the Easterners, and everyone will be purged! Heroes, officials, the military, all who stand in our way. You're insane if you think I'd do that. Oh, you will do it. Once the seed of evil I've planted in you blooms, you'll become my own personal assassin. <laughs> What's happening? I'm losing control. Oh, yes, I nearly forgot. I'll have you kill that arrogant girl as well. I couldn't eat for a week after the blow she dealt me. Me? Nah. Yes, that's her. She dared to deceive me, you see. She hasn't changed after all. Well, if I have to change, then I'm doing it on my own terms!
Hmm. Turned his blade on himself, did he? Well, heroes certainly know how to die in style, don't they? Now, to reduce this place to ashes and make our escape. It's only natural you still ache. After three months of healing, you still haven't fully recovered. Three months? Your wounds were nearly fatal. It's a miracle you've recovered this quickly. Thanks go to your parents for giving you such a strong constitution. But now is not the time for rest. You must learn to master talismans and the basics of Taoist magic. Master... spells? Correct. You'll be contending with otherworldly entities like Gabok. Using ordinary techniques will only end in your defeat. Do you know him, Gabok? Of course. He brings our clan great shame and must be stopped at all costs. We share a common goal, you and I. Allow me to formally introduce myself. I am Wan Su Hyun, former secret royal inspector. Follow me. I am unable to leave the country. You will travel the world in my stead, in search of the Soul Edge fragments. It is your duty, as it was you who brought part of Soul Edge to this land. Su Hyun regaled Huang with tales of exploits, Taoist methodology, and talismans. He learned that Soul Edge is a cursed blade, often called the Sword of Destruction. It feeds on the souls of men. Now shattered, its fragments were scattered the world over. What few Huang recovered fell back into Gabok's hands. Gabok intended to plunge Korea into chaos using the power of the fragments, then gather as many souls as he could to complete Soul Edge. I see. I had no idea I brought such calamity to our land. You are not to blame. The fragments are practically powerless on their own, but the Society of Salvation knows how to make proper use of Soul Edge. That said, the deeds accomplished on your journey were actually a great help to me. They were? Indeed. One of the travelers you helped is a most valuable ally of mine. Perhaps you don't remember? After months of rigorous training, Su Hyun declares Huang's preparation complete. But the elderly monk took note of one last obstacle. The seed of evil planted in Huang's body. Should he come in contact with an evil aura strong enough, the seed would consume him. The key to this final hurdle is the Mirror of Evil's Bane, found here in the ruins of Motian Pass. It is one of many reasons I am duty-bound to this land. You should, under the right conditions, be able to make use of its purifying power. So that's why you've been protecting these ruins. Indeed, they must never fall into the hands of Gabok and his ilk. At any rate, I only know what I've been told of the mirror, so I do not know precisely how it works. Still, if you gather enough fragments, you should be able to purge the evil from your body. However, you do not yet have the power to rid yourself of the seed. Here, take this talisman. What is it? 
It is a talisman of iron will. It drains some of your life to afford you immense strength for a short time. Evil can do you no harm while it is active. The stronger the adept, the more life it drains. If Gabok discovers this, I'm afraid you won't be able to defeat him. Fortunately for you, he thinks you are dead. It is for this reason that you must now fight as a faceless, nameless warrior. You're right. I did indeed die back then. The man known as Huang Sung Young is gone. Does this trouble you? No. I'm more focused than ever on the task at hand. My only concern is worrying those at the Song Dojang. All the more reason to gather the Soul Edge fragments as quickly as possible. Indeed. An ally of mine dwells where you are headed. Seek their aid should you need it. Thank you, Su Hyun. I'm off. This is the place. Oh, you look like a traveler. We've got everything you might need. Drinks, provisions, souvenirs, the works. These merchants have a secret phrase I learned on my previous journey. Has the Silver Maiden returned from the valley? She hunted a rare beast not long ago. Care to take a closer look? Yeah, I do. Down the stairs in the back. To think that Fiegel Sestimus would hide one of their temples underneath a quiet town like this. It's not as big as the last one, but to build a place this size underground. It's leading me further in. Here we are. The evil in it leaves no doubt. Hmm? That burning smell. Is that smoke? Intruders! Of all heretics have set fire to the temple! Of all? Is that, Is that yet, yet another, another group? group? Ha! I will cut you down! Uh oh. I thought my diversion would work, but it seems not all of you are fools. So it was you who lit that fire. Didn't you think of the danger to those in the town above? I've no obligation to explain my actions to you. That fragment of Soul Edge is mine. I see that you are quite a stupid host. 
You say that, but you haven't yet used your spear. You're insulted. Come at me while you can. I feel the need to ask. Are you one of these mad cultists? Yeah. No, my true strength. There's no. If you want to know, why not ask those guys? Of course. Impressive. A wise idea. You lack I have the advantage. No, my true strength. There's no escape. There's nowhere to run. <clears throat> Does that answer your question? My apologies for doubting you. How about I cook you dinner to make up for it? Sounds fun, but let me think about it. First things first. Indeed. Let's cut our way free. Lord Wilhelm, Sir Huang, that was a beautiful diversion. Thanks to you, we were able to learn a great deal about their temple. We'd greatly appreciate it if you could assist us like this again. No, thank you. That information you gave me has been a lifesaver. I never thought I would be addressed by name this far from home. Su Hyun has long been an ally of ours. Rest assured, your secret is safe. You'll continue to work on a cure and gather information on Lord Grow, then? Of course. We're keeping Lord Dion and Lady Natalie of the Twelve abreast of the situation as well. Lord Dion will soon be joining our chapter here. Would you care to meet him, Sir Huang? You would let someone of my stature meet a high-ranking member so easily? Of course. You've proven most helpful to the Aval organization. And how is that? I'm sure Lord Dion would gladly answer that question. Understood. Once I've finished my investigation, I'll make my way back. Do you really intend to go to Ostreinsberg? It is suicide to head there alone right now. I do. I need to examine the traces of the catastrophe that Soul Edge brought to this world. And you would do well to stop by Wolf Crone on your way. With a letter from me, you will be shown a royal welcome at the palace. Thanks for the offer, but I don't want to impose. Speaking of which, that Google hook, was it? It was great. You're a pretty good cook. I'm glad you liked it, and that you have a sweet tooth. Yeah, Mina always... Er, uh, that... It is thanks to a friend. Hmm? Who is this friend? I won't pry if you don't wish to tell, but I am curious. It's hard to explain. She's my master's daughter, and, well... How do I really feel about Mina? She's, She's like, like a, a sister, sister to me. But is that all? Ah, uh, she must be very important to you. All the more reason not to die. Yeah. Thanks for the warning. I sure hope Mina's safe.
Frau Strinesberg Castle. I must be close. <sighs> this evil aura is overwhelming. If I venture any closer, it may trigger the seed of evil inside me. Who's there? Show yourself. My name is Siegfried Stauffen. Once I... Uh, never mind. Uh, there's no time for introductions. If you're making for Ostreinsberg Castle, I have a favor to ask. That, that giant, giant sword, sword is back. back. He, must he must be, be one, one skilled, skilled fighter. fighter. If it's important, I'll hear you out. Thank you. There are people held prisoner inside the castle. I want you to save them. Take this map. It shows a secret passage into the underground dungeon. I'll believe you. What are you going to do? I need to go... somewhere far away. I won't inquire further. I have no choice but to use a talisman of iron will. I have to hurry before the talisman takes its toll. Stay quiet and move quickly. Follow the right corridor until you see a hole leading out. You have our thanks! You too. Hurry and escape. I can't. They tortured me. I, I can't move my legs. Those brutal monsters. Here, grab onto my back. That's enough of that now. What do you think you're doing with the father? So, you're the wicked fiend who tortured and imprisoned these people. I recognize him. We fought once long ago. To think he was one of the cursed sword's thralls. Let me ask, what are you planning to do with them? We're refining their spirits. We need a great number of special souls if we are to resurrect our king. Sadly, souls never seem to ripen enough naturally for our purposes. That's why we're applying a little bit of pressure. Hatred, pain, pleasure, hunger, and so on. Which trials will produce the most scrumptious souls? Alas, we've still not found an answer. That is why we cannot have our subjects escaping. You certainly like to talk about your vile misdeeds, you twisted snake. Vile? I treat them with more courtesy than they'd get from pillaging mercenaries or pathetic mindless malfested. But I doubt you will ever understand. One, fight! Two, one! Come at me while you can! You missed! I have the advantage! You missed! Battle two! Fight! I remember well your Boring skill and your strength! So my memory was right. I'm disappointed. You will perish! It's time! You're over! You're good. Take me! I seek not your life. Battle three! Fight! I knew you were exceptional! Time! Yeah! Take off! Yeah! 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 
Skill, but also that delightful darkness lurking in your heart. Darkness lurking in my heart? Everyone has a great darkness inside them. And sometimes it wears a mask of justice. However, people like you are incapable of noticing it on your own. Fortunately, our king can open that shadowy door for you. This king you speak of, is he Soul Edge's new bearer? The Azure Knight was once defeated and once reborn. Did you not meet him yourself mere hours ago? I, I met, met this, this Azure, Azure Knight? Knight? He couldn't Could mean that, that man. Our king is a bit of a capricious sort. He sometimes leaves to wander and roam. Soon that naughty habit will be rightfully repressed. It's a mere passive fit, after all. Now, enough idle chatter. You are the victor, so you may take your prize. This castle is a vile den of Malfested. I would recommend you hurry out. You would do well to protect those who have already fled. Otherwise, they may just be hunted down by those mindless malfested roaming about. <sighs> you dirty. <laughs> we'll happily await your return, great hero of justice, Wong Songyong. How do you feel? Can you move? Not well, but I think I can walk. I am your country's enemy. Why do you provide me aid? War is but a clash of competing values. Friend and foe can change at any moment. But this is no battlefield, so you are merely another in need. <sighs> You're too soft. I appreciate your kindness, though. The talisman's effect has worn off. This strain is far worse than the last. What matters most, though, is ensuring my survival remains a secret. Is it, my child? Well, I was wondering if there was any news about Wong? No. I'm afraid I haven't heard anything. The investigation of the Society of Salvation in Wan Gabak is progressing slowly. Rather, it's proving extraordinarily difficult. The leader of the Westerners Chung Chol's appointment to Wright State Counselor has altered the power dynamic in the court, stoking fear. Oh, I see. I was such a fool for telling Wong he had to change. <sighs> the boy's parents died when he was just a child. Do what is right, 
help those in need, and never lose heart. His parents' creed shaped the man he's become. I knew that. And yet I still told him what I did. Father, that's all in the past. There's no point in worrying about it now. Uh. Wong's alive. I know he is. If you really want to tell him how you feel, you can do so when you see him next, right? <laughs> Indeed. How right you are, my child. Huang's alive! Hmm, so it seems. I heard it was Great Blade who ran into him. Huh. Well, if that old timer said he met him, then it must be true. Oh, to make such an embarrassing mistake after all this progress, I'm so disappointed in myself. Don't be so hard on yourself, you're doing well enough. You've empowered Westerner leaders. Invented a convincing story about Easterner Rebellion. Purged our rivals. My, my! To what do I owe the honor of all this praise, Princess? I have to say I find your annoying tendencies quite endearing. Now, now, is that sarcasm I detect? Why would you say that? I happen to think very highly of you. Fierce Sword of the Inquisitor doesn't make for much fun. You, however, do. I know, right? Let's continue to make things interesting then, shall we? If Huang Song Yang is alive, how about we label the Song Do Zhang a band of rebels and have them purged as well? Maybe proof of Easterner ties will be discovered at their Do Zhang. <laughs> You must be Sir Huang Song Gyeong. It is an honor to meet you. I am Dion. I have the privilege of belonging to the Twelve of the Aval Organization. The Twelve are the elite of the organization, are they not? To be greeted so graciously by one of your stature makes the honor all mine. I would be remiss not to greet someone who aided our esteemed ally. I'm sorry? I speak of the Lady of the Lake. We think of her as the symbol of the Aval organization's long and storied history. Dion regaled Huang with stories of the Aval organization and its past. Huang then shared with Dion what information he had gathered on his journeys. The conversation eventually turned to Huang's infiltration of Ostreinsberg. See, so it's come to human experimentation, has it? The situation is far more dire than I thought. The individual you encountered was Johan Greatblade. He's considered a leader of the Malfested. He is a cunning outsider who once entered the Wolf Crony Kingdom under the guise of a human to try to murder the regent, Hildegard. A Malfested who's disguised himself as a human, yet takes a sword's name. The man who entrapped me, Juan Gabak, also had a blade-based moniker, Sword of Cursed Flames. I assume he, too, ranks highly among the Malfested? You're a sharp one, Sir Huang. You assume correctly. Huang Song Gyeong, can you hear me? What is this? The talisman is speaking to me. <clears throat> Thank you. 
Su Hyun, is something the matter? Su Hyun, what's wrong? Given the severity of the situation, I'm using magic to conjure an image of myself. I'm sure this begs further questions, but they will have to wait. I cannot maintain this for long, so listen well. The Westerners are targeting the Song Dojang. I'm afraid so. You must return at once. Understood. When will Gabak begin his siege? Perhaps as soon as a week from today. A week? There's no way I can return to Korea in such a short amount of time. I'm aware of that. But I fear the worst. There may be a way for you to return in time, but it is neither safe nor guaranteed to work. I don't care. If there's even the slightest chance I can make it, I'll take the risk. Very well then. If you are willing to walk a bit, I have somewhere I'd like to take you. What is about to occur here must remain a secret. I am only allowing this because the Aval organization owes you a great debt. It appears they've come. How fortunate for us you are so close. It's good to see you, Conduit. I did not call you here for another experiment. No, today I'd like to make proper use of this device. That hole just opened out of thin air. This is what we call an astral fissure. It is a gateway to a chaotic alternate dimension. That same dimension is the source of evil aura. The weak of mind will be consumed by its power. There have been several reports of individuals using fissures to travel thousands of miles in an instant, though they remain unverified. Though I hesitate to operate on blind faith, I have no other choice. I will use the fissure. I bid you safe passage, Sir Huang. Thank you for your help, Lord Dion. Farewell. This is the chaotic dimension. It's awash in a powerful, evil aura. I will reach the other side of this fissure, even if it costs me every last talisman. You're a stubborn one. Just admit defeat. I will not be bested. Uh, you're being very naughty. You. So, 
He finally goes down. Tougher than most humans, I'll give him that. You use strange techniques! You coward! Of course I do! Do you really think I'd fight fair against Korea's god of martial arts? Even with all my careful prep, I just barely managed to take him down. Anyway, all that's left is to have some fun with you, and burn this Dojong to the ground. I don't think so. I... I won't let that happen! can best my magical barrier. If... If only I were stronger. If memory serves, you gave me quite a beating some time ago, and I never repaid you. Here, take one of my better spells. Flash of flame, scorching land, howling inferno at my command. Manifest and come to my aid. I will burn every ounce of flesh you have. Conflagration! Long! Roaring wind! Oh, hot! Oh, wait, this seems familiar. Wong Song Kyung, what are you doing here? I clawed my way out of hell so I could end you. What? <laughs> this strength. So you're using a talisman of iron will. And with that many. Interesting. I think I see what's going on here. Excellent. Princess! Fortune is finally smiling upon us. We must hurry back to the ruins of Motian Pass. Are we going to just let Huang go? Don't worry about him. Those life-sucking talismans of iron will will kill him for us. I'll just take you down before I run out. Oh, that was far too close. You just stay here and be a good little boy. We can play once the mirror of evil's bane is destroyed. <laughs> Stop, Stop Gabak! Damn, is the effect already wearing off? Mina, I'm okay. No, you're not. Why would you do this to yourself? These talismans are draining your life, aren't they? They'll kill you. Let it drain some of mine instead. It's too dangerous. 
Get away from me. No! Why do you always do this? Why do you always push me away? We promised we would protect our homeland together, didn't we? And yet you still shoulder the burden on your own. It's not fair! I'm sorry, Mina. There you go apologizing like you always do. Look, it's not that I want you to change. I know this is part of who you are. I just want you to let me help you for once. Mina. Please stop treating me like a child. I'm capable of handling myself now. You're right. Thanks for helping me see that. Wow, these ruins bring back so many memories. I must thank you for gathering so many fragments of Soul Edge, Su Hyun. the barrier you've maintained for years just to inform Huang of Song Dozhang's impending doom. You're so naive, despite how harsh you always were on me. <laughs> A barrier like that would cause even an immortal like you to wither away. That must have been so exhausting, dear sister. <sighs> Greed blinds you still, I see. You didn't realize I took down the barrier on purpose to lure you in. Listen to you! Defiant even in the face of danger! Gabok, are you not going to destroy the Mirror of Evil's Bane? Hmm? Oh, yes! I was just about to do that! Oh, no, you don't! Raging heavens! Sneaking snake, tortoise shell, opposition I will quell! Absolute protection! <laughs> I had a feeling you would show your face, Song Kyung. And I see you discovered the solution to your talisman of iron will problem! Solution? The adverse effects of a talisman can be shouldered by another, should they consent. That wretched girl has done so for you, hasn't she? You, the girl, Su Hyun, the bond you all share is so touching. Princess, allow us to become one and show this fool the strength of our bond. You say the most disturbing things at times, Sword of Cursed Flames. But very well, I'll lend you my power. With this power that I will purge this world of its false beauty. One Gabak, sword of cursed flames. I shall vanquish the evils of the ages. Fight me! 
Athena. I won't let the spirit you've given me go to waste. Try this! You lack resolve! You're open! I can feel the power flowing through me! It's over! Combine! You can't beat me! Combine! Dark Thunder! You are mine! Do nothing but cower? I don't know if I can withstand this. But if I can just endure it a bit longer. Why does my body grow heavy? You see, the stronger the adept, the faster and more punishing the drain. of iron will on me! Kuang, now's your chance to lead him before the Mirror of Evil's Bane! Right. Well done. Heaven's truth, illumination. Crystal skies, Earth's formation, chasing winds, swift salvation. Manifest and come to my aid! Now, Huang, knock him into the center of the mirror! Purifying blade! No! Not the light! Done well, Huang. I apologize I could not be of more help. No, I should be apologizing to you. I'm sorry I could not keep you abreast of the situation. I did not think Soul Edge would end up being the Sword of Destruction. It is most fortunate you were able to resolve this matter and keep it a secret in a month's time. It is all thanks to the advice you and many others provided me. I would not have peace of mind if I were incapable of that much. I trust that henceforth, you will follow the path you believe to be just. Know that the Song Dojong will protect you from those who would do you harm. You are too kind, Master. Leaving so soon, Huang? Yeah, I am. I've been summoned. I'll be waiting for you. That's all I'll say for now. Telling her the truth about Soul Edge will only cause problems. 
I'm sure I'll be able to tell her everything someday. If I want to protect her and the others I care about, I need to get stronger. Right. I'll be back. Until then, take care. I'm sorry about before. Hmm? I promise I'll get even stronger so you can talk to me about anything. Just you wait and see. Oh, Mina. <laughs> I'll hold you to that. Take care, Wong. Thanks. You too. Ah, this is quite the failure. Veer and Zex will no doubt make fools of us. You worry too much. We just got a little carried away is all. In time, we'll lay waste to Korea and Japan. At least we had fun, right? I rather like this song, young fellow. I'm sure we could get along just fine. Might I try my hand at coaxing him to our corner next time? Do whatever you want. I'll at least enjoy watching you try. Oh, but do take our progress reports more seriously, Sword of Cursed Flames. You will anger those who swarm fealty to Nightmare. Yeah, yeah. How can I take it seriously when I'm addressed as Sword of Cursed Flames, though? If anything, it's their fault for giving me such a cool name. Do you want Nightmare to kill you? That would be a waste of the power you've been given. I apologize for the wait, Su Hyun. There you are, Secret Royal Inspector Huang Song Yong. I have a new mission for you. A domestic issue this time. Head to the royal capital. An individual swayed by stories of the Sword of Salvation has obtained a fragment of the Cursed Sword. To make matters worse, an enemy spy has caught wind of this as well. See to it that you procure this fragment. Understood. Though, I'm not so sure I deserve the Secret Royal Inspector title. Think of it as an extra line of defense. Westerners would think twice before laying a hand on my successor. Now go forth and never lose sight of your objective. Right. I'm off. I still have my doubts about him. But we must ensure he can do this much, yes? After all, if what you say is true, then his hardships are still yet to come. <sighs> Darkness envelops the moonless night. One man's blade flashes like lightning, his spirit a raging storm. From the shadows, he cuts through the darkness. His name is Huang Song Yong. When the light of hope grows dim, a hero continues to fight for the land and people he loves. The names of the warriors whose fates were bound to the two swords have been etched into the very fibers of history.